the two composers in this film, Arvo Pärt and Henrik Goretzky, have become hugely popular thanks to their simple, accessible style. I'm exploring their stories in what was communist Eastern Europe to understand how sacred music, disapproved of by the regimes, became such a powerful force. Both have written a substantial amount of sacred choral music and both of them were writing music that was out of favour with the regime. Now, as we can see from this extraordinary graveyard of history, the political world has changed. Arvo Pertz, Estonia and Henrik Goretzky's Poland are now members of the European Union. In this film we see how music inspired by the Catholic, Lutheran and Orthodox traditions became identified with political protest and national identity. Performing the music of Goretzky and Pert for the 16 is an incredible experience for us. It's completely different from anything else we usually do. And actually, you don't have to be of any faith or denomination to, to appreciate what this music can do for you. It's time for this week's Classic FM Sure Shot. And this week, Goretzky, Symphony No. 3, Don Upshaw, Soprano. Few people had heard of the Polish composer Henryk Goretzky in 1992 when a new CD of his Symphony of Sorrowful Songs was picked up by a classical radio station in London. This was the first week of Classic FM the first pick hit of the week and I introduced Goretzky Symphony number no. three I played the second movement enough people bought it off of that that the following week it was number 19 and it builds and builds until finally it knocks off Nigel Kennedy's recording of the Beethoven violin concerto and becomes number one but it didn't stop there because it crossed over to the pop chart and got to number six in the top ten and we helped to make a Polish pensioner a millionaire <laughs> Goretzky's Symphony of Sorrowful Songs became the fastest selling disc by a living classical composer. It's a symphony rather than a sacred piece, but it sets three religious and folk texts and gives an insight into some of Goretzky's deepest musical and spiritual concerns. Although it became a hit only in 1992, Goretzky's Third Symphony was actually written almost 20 years earlier, back in 1976. One of the sorrowful songs that feature in it is connected with this place, the Monastery of the Holy Cross in southern Poland. It's a 15th century lament of the Virgin Mary for her crucified son, and it's one of a set known as the Wysagora songs, named after the mountain on which this monastery is built. Goretzky used part of the text for his opening movement. <laughs> 